Hi and welcome to another um, Nintendo Night video. This time I'm looking at um, Beetle Adventure Racing for the N64. A um, little game I've had in my collection for quite some time. Um, cartridge only I'm afraid but it was um, 5 99 and I picked it up um, back in the days when you could still find uh, N64 cartridges in places like Game and Game Station which is quite a long while away now. Um, I'm only going to um, feature the first lap of um, the first few tracks because the, the tracks are so long um, if I just featured one um, it would one or two it would take up the whole of the video um, and be a bit dull so after um, each lap each of the first lap of, of the tracks I shall move on to the next one um, so here's the first very first one this is Coventry Cove um, there's uh, three viewpoints that you can use there. The, as um, the uh, level first loaded, I was in the, the real close-up view, which I think is far too close for my personal taste. Um, I prefer to drive in this um, slightly zoomed out view. There's also an in-car view if you prefer. Um, but for this game, as it's a, it's a very arcade, arcade feeling racer, I, I prefer to use the, um, the zoomed out View. So you can see it's a it's a decent looking little racing game. Um, not fantastic looking by any means, but for N64 standards, it's um, okay. And um, as I said, the tracks are very large. Um, there's quite a lot going on in them. There's uh, alternative routes, a plenty, and um, loads of little point boxes. Um, and the purpose of those is uh, not to add to your points for the race, but um, uh, when you build up a certain amount, um, you earn a continue, and um, you can also unlock little bonus um, multiplayer games and, and extra cars and the like by picking up those, although you'd have to go some to get enough points for the bonuses, because I think you have to get a hundred uh, race and when you're concentrating on coming first, it's not easy to um, go out of your, way, of your way to get the bonus points. But I do believe um, there is a free roaming mode, um, which would be the best place to to collect those. And uh, as you saw um, a minute ago, there's also little blue um, nitrous uh, boxes to give you a bit of a boost. Um, this first track is nice and easy, quite gentle. Um, there is a jump there, uh, and I completely miss it. But um, that area takes you off to um, um, a little off-road area with um, lots of points to pick up, and, and a, a nitrous box tucked out of the way. Yeah, just saw it off the edge of the screen there. Um, it's a bit off the racing line normally. Um, there's another nitrous there, and that's the end of that lap for that track. So we move on to Mount Mayhem. Um, things get a little bit tricky, trickier here, but not it's not too bad. And uh, this time it's a kind of icy mountainous stage with um, some caves, pretty nice looking caves that you can go through as well. So yeah, there's, there's a decent ses sensation of speed to this game. Um, uh, the um, sometimes the uh, enemies can be a bit annoying and um, bash into you um, what seems like deliberately, although it could just be bad um, pathfinding. They, they um, just um, can't tell where you are and uh, block your racing line because that's what the, what they're programmed to do. So. Um, yeah, I quite like this track actually. Um, you'll see on the next track, if, if we have time, the difficulty um, ramps up quite considerably, and something always goes wrong for me on on the next one. But this one is um, fairly easy. Uh, you just have to remember to miss that hole in the bridge back there. Uh, then there's some um, bit of a icy slope when you have to weave between the, the glaciers there. Um, 
back down the other side. I believe we'll be coming through a tunnel in a minute. So, um, bash the pink car out of the way. As you were. Right. Uh, miss all the points. Don't worry about them. It's just a race. Um, yeah, here's one of the um, caves. I believe there's another one a little bit further along with a huge jump in it. Is this it? Yeah, here we are. Wee crunch out. There goes my suspension. Um, I say that, but you can't actually damage the car, it being a, a pure racing game. Um, and there's no upgrades or anything either, you just uh, once, oops, uh, once you progress from um, one cup to the next, you get to get some better cars to choose from. That's that's really all there is in the way of upgrading. Uh, I messed up badly back there. So I lost a few places. Um, yeah, and um, the furthest I've got is a um, um, desert stage where you go through pyramids. Um, and that's quite a tricky one actually um, I do believe there's a kind of Area 51 track later on in the game as well this is an Inferno Isle, this is the one that uh, really does my head in uh, sometimes um, all can be going well and, and something will go wrong somewhere along the line like you'll be bashed off by one of the other cars or um, just make a mistake because it's quite a complicated little track this one and there's plenty of uh, places to fall off and uh, lose some places um, as you see uh, through the beach into a little jungle area and out pops a T-Rex so it's clearly inspired by Jurassic Park this track um, once you're through here I um, believe you go through some giant gates a la Jurassic Park again and then it's on to a um, beach, um, a seaside village, um, and there's it, the um, roads crisscross. And I do believe there's quite a few little shortcuts here, but, but I've haven't gone out of my way to investigate too much. Just stick to the racing line. Oh, smash all the barrels. Here we go. Uh, slide around the corner and once you're out of the village um, it's um, back into the jungle for a little bit and then that leads into a volcano which is really difficult you have to be really careful that you don't fall into the lava because that will bug you up a tree um, just you come around here you'll see the the first of the lava in a sec. Uh, I think it's after the next right hand turn. Here we are. Uh, here we, and a little hop over the lava there. You have to be really careful if there's another car next to you there that they don't bash you into the sideways into the lava. Uh, and then you navigate these um, tunnels and try not to fall in. So um I'm coming to the end of my time here. Unfortunately, I won't have time to show you the whole of the lap, but it uh, gives you an idea um, how frustrating this, this particular track is. Um, I'll put up another Nintendo Night video soon. See you guys. Thanks.